Welcome back to the 9 a.m. We've moved into the Web Center with our good buddy Joe Militzer. Hey, Joe, how you doing, brother? Pretty good, Tim. It's time for some trending topics. What's trending out there? Uh, well, for the last, like, week, we've had this Wall Street Journal article uh, about the St. Louis downtown being in a doom loop. Being in, it's really caught the attention of a lot of people uh, who live around yeah. here. And uh, there's even an op-ed in the Business Journal today about it. But it got me thinking. Uh, over the weekend about um, an interesting story about a uh, revival. So, um, so yeah, and, and it all kind of sparked after the uh, AT&T building. We did a story about this yeah. with Andy Banker, how it lost 98% of its value Whew. between 2006 and 2022, which is, you know. Not that long. Yeah, not that long. So, and it's been, sitting it's been sitting vacant for five years. So right. we have the Continental Life building in Grand Center. It's at, uh, uh, abandoned for about two decades. Maybe a little longer than that. And then in the late 90s, there was like this re revitalization effort, $28 million investment in the building, made it into 101 uh, apartments. And you know the story of Grand Center now. Yeah. We absolutely. talk about it as a vibrant art center. For Forbes even called it uh, one of the, like, the best art centers in the entire country. It's, wow. It's really up and coming. So it's that kind of investment, those kind of like, uh, they've had a really great plan to really like make that area into the booming area it is today. And hopefully, hopefully we can see something similar with downtown St. Louis. No doubt. So, no I was doubt. glass half full. That's how I'm trying to We'll take to that. Look at it. We'll take that. <laughs> yeah, so, and, and, and so we've got one more. Uh, we've got this, uh, this other item that's trending is we've got these St. Louis area cities are named among a Missouri's safest. Okay. A new list um, from SafeWise. Uh, they come out this every every year, and Cottleville, Glen, Glendale, and Baldwin in the greater St. Louis area are among the top 10 safest for Missouri. Um, the ranking is based on an FBI crime data. Wow. Uh, Cottleville is Missouri's safest city, and it's been that, that way for a few, like three years. Um, O'Fallon, Crystal City, Lake St. Louis, and Wright City are ranked in the top 20. So we've got a lot of safe areas uh, around. That's something and to be proud of. It sure is. There you go. Come on. Yeah. Hang out with us. Hang out with us here in the, in the St. Louis area. It's a good place to be. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Tim. Keep it here. More coming your way on the 9 a.m.